Okay, Patrick, this one is for you. I know, um, do a search on USMA uh, Robotics Aruka Ross, okay? And it'll turn up West Point GitHub Robotics, okay? And I believe it's on the second page of items. And let's see. Maybe not. Maybe there it is, right there. Go in and GitHub git clone this repository, okay? And get this, which will give you any one of the markers. It'll tell you the marker number. Now I have, I'm gonna do a demonstration here. I have marker 587 printed out. Okay, you can generate the markers here. Okay, here's a Ruko marker generator. Okay, and you can see it up there. You can see the address. Okay, so you, you click on that and you just put in the marker ID. So uh, 26 is a typical one that's used a lot. And there you've got marker 26. Okay, now I'm going to run this real quick, but I want you also to look at uh, if you do. Aruka Ross GitHub and go to 1337 Aruka Ross. This shows you another example of this. And as you can see, you can get uh, your a bunch of information about the frames, okay? But one of them is translation, okay, X, Y, Z, and rotation. So if it's moving closer, you want the robot to move away. If it's moving away, then you want the robot to follow. If it's turned, you want the robot to turn and so on. So the information is there. I think we should be able to get to at least by Friday where the robot's moving in accordance with the marker. Now I'm gonna run this real quick. Okay, so control alt. Let me set the camera down real quick. Control alt T. Whoops. Control alt. T. There we go. Okay. Uh, so here is, uh, this is me running it. Okay. And I'm using the camera that's on the laptop, but you can use the other camera as well, which I, I may make a video later of the little camera here using it with the Nook. But right now, let's just do it with this. The command is Ross launch, Aruko Ross sample. Aruko launch the it's looking for 587, but it doesn't matter what uh, Tag you use what marker you use it'll find it. Okay, so it's gonna start up our viz And you see it's looking at me here. Whoops. Is it looking at me? Uh oh, uh, you know what hold on um, Okay, let's get rid of this I had I already had it running so let me try this again. I think I messed it up uh Control T, okay. Oops, set the camera down. Okay, let's try this again and see if we can't get it to go. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, so now there's the marker. You can kind of see, let me see if I can wheel that in a little bit. You can see it's got the information here. Oops. It's got all the information, and it will have. It'll actually put the marker number on the, on the screen for you and everything too. Um, oops, let's see if I can get this to go. There it goes. Okay, so see if you look at that, you can see that it's got marker 587. Okay, I hope you can see that. Uh, so I think that's a good start. If you with that information, you should be able to get to where the robot can back up and move forward and turn right and left in accordance with the way that the marker is paid. Uh, you probably should put this on a, a flat thing so that when you turn it, you can see the vectors. But you should be able to get those vectors, and then you should be able to use that in a short little program, Python or C, to move the, the robot backwards, forward, as if it were following. Uh, I think that's possible.